sometimes it takes a different approach to help you unlock your true potential. With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath learning format, you gain relevant skills you can apply to your career right away. Earn your degree from an accredited university and be confident in the quality of your education. Imagine your future differently at capella.edu. Capella University is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. Learn more at capella.edu slash accreditation. You're listening to a Mint podcast brought to you by HD Smartcast. Can't afford annual health insurance premiums? No problem. Simply opt for the monthly premium payment option. This is exactly what online insurance distribution platforms and some insurance companies have been promoting. Hello, I'm Aprajita and you are listening to Why Not Mint Money podcast. Monthly premium payment option is convenient. No doubt about it. But there are nuances you must understand. To talk about the same, I have with me Nisha Sanghvi. She is a certified financial planner with special expertise in insurance. Welcome, Nisha. Welcome to Why Not Mint Money, a personal finance podcast where we help you understand basic money concepts and share strategies for you to build your wealth. So let's get started with your money journey. Welcome, Nisha, on the show today. Thank you, Aprajita. A pleasure coming on your show. Okay, Nisha. So first, tell us about this whole trend of monthly premium payment option. Why sudden interest in it? So, Aprajita, uh, I may, I was talking to a Zillenial, the Gen Z uh, that we call, who are in their early 20s mm-hmm. and uh, earning handsomely, but tells me that that 5,000 alpha, that, you know, the monthly that I will pay uh, oh, above the annual premium payment gives me more comfort. Okay, that's the more most important reason which urges me to take an insurance policy in a monthly mode. Okay, so even though uh, the person is earning good, still they cannot shell out. And if the person is in 20s, then I believe the insurance amount would be just about 10,000 bucks annual premium. Yeah, between the range of 10 to 14,000, not much for a 10 lakh sum insured. Exactly. Okay, and are they aware that there are some hidden charges involved? So people don't want to understand and hear, uh, hear about it. And especially when we are, we share the policy document, uh, policy wordings basically to know what are you covered for, what are you not covered for. These are the times when the uh, person who's buying the policy uh, because he's got influenced by some video online or uh, experienced something around family or friends. That is when the trigger happens because in our country, insurance is a very push product. People don't wake up by themselves and say, I want to buy a policy. So in Mm -hmm. all the situation, uh, when you decide that, okay, somebody just called me and said, okay, because it's a last quarter of the financial year, there would be a lot of people because data is just shared across crazily. So people will call you and say, do you need a health insurance? And if you are the one searching at that point of time, you might interact with that person who called you. So in that situation, uh, it could happen that the person is pushing you that you end up paying monthly. That will not cost you much because you're talking over a phone. Uh, you don't know who is the other person on the other side. Uh, and that could be, you know, to build up that trust, you might still choose to buy a monthly premium. Mm-hmm. Correct. And so exa- then with your client, exactly what did you do? Could you make him or her understand the charges <laughs> and eventually the person went for month? Your annual. Uh, so, Aprajita, in our case, uh, what happened was uh, this client of ours uh, went ahead and bought a monthly policy. Uh, and when the claim came in, the claim happened. Okay. Uh, so, I'll tell you an experience. Uh, say, uh, to for our listeners to make it very simple, uh, somebody buys a policy of 24, uh, 10 lakhs sum insured, annual premium 24,000. Now, uh, I will okay. ask the insurance company, I want to pay it monthly. Okay. So, say for an easy calculation, understanding premium monthly will come 2000 rupees. The moment you uh, choose a monthly payment, say monthly you're paying 2000 on every fifth of the month. Now, on first of the fourth month, okay, you paid three premiums, which is 6000 rupees. First of the fourth month, there is an accident, okay, and you meet with an accident and you need urgent hospitalization. Now, that hospitalization will cost you say 30 to 40,000 rupees. So if, assuming right. it costed you 40,000 rupees for the whole treatment, admission, uh, taking treatment, then taking a discharge, huh. going for follow-up, all costed you 40,000 rupees. Now, hmm. 
you thought that you have a 10 lakh cover and 40000 will be uh, covered under my health insurance policy but technically no the claim isn't paid completely why because you converted your policy to monthly so you paid three mm-hmm. installments which was 6000 rupees and the premium mm-hmm. was 24 so your 18000 are still outstanding so insurance company at a 40000 claim will get up 18000 and the balance 22000 you will be aware, you know made available to you if you went to a network hospital for a cashless and if you had a reimbursement then they will pay only 22000 because your whole year's premium is still pending correct all right so if uh, somebody feels that they cannot afford annual premium and go for monthly option but if hospitalization happens this is the why one buys insurance and if that happens then one will have to shell out good amount of money from their pockets only then insurance policy will kick in so that is Correct. the risk involved in monthly premium payment option right okay and uh, what about um, processing charges and some hidden charges involved and i believe there are uh, two types of monthly premium payment options one is when we directly uh, get in contract with insurance companies and they convert it in monthly and there are some distribution platforms which provide emi option so just explain us the difference and which one is scarier so anything which is emi is always scarier aprajita because uh, today's generations are uh, you know wanting to buy everything in emis and that gives a comfort i don't know with what happiness it comes when you buy anything which is in emis rather you have a Uh, you know delayed gratification mm-hmm. versus having an instant gratification is what i always feel and we keep telling this to mm-hmm. our clientele also that uh, let's save for it the moment you save for it uh, and then you go ahead and buy it so uh, coming back to your question aprajita um when you buy a insurance policy uh, through insurance uh, portal or a aggregator or an advisor there are two options right in the uh, the uh, monthly uh, payment mode right so one option you look at it is you paid the premium completely of 12 months at one go and you converted that on your card okay um, that is something which i would still recommend that go ahead and do it if you can't afford it affordability is a question then you choose this option where insurance premium you paid fully but the uh, part where uh, you say that i can't afford it right now but i still need to avail it and have my family secured that is still okay but yes when you process it on your card okay or debit card or a credit card at that point mm-hmm. of time uh, you are paying a processing fee you are paying a, a gst and you might be end up ending up paying some interest also now when you are doing this yes uh, you are saved yourself from you know any claims arising during the year you are secured because insurance company has received the full premium okay uh, still mm-hmm. worth paying that interest and considering to buy a policy through a credit card or debit card okay now that's number 1 number 2 mm-hmm. uh, say you buy a policy through the insurance company or the web aggregator or an advisor where the premium payment mode is monthly okay and at that point of time what happens is insurance company will receive your premium payment only monthly okay here is the most uh, you know scarier space because in case you happen to claim okay uh, that point of time all the money will not be paid to you okay this is something which we need to not consider why buy why buying any policy be it health be it, be it life we i wouldn't consider or advise anybody to buy a policy in on a monthly payment mode because it cur- directly re- relates to the example that i shared that the claim will be paid only after they will deduct the whole year premium okay so if somebody has converted the uh, payment option in monthly mode directly from the insurance company then they have they are receiving it on monthly basis so when hospitalization happens they'll deduct the remaining portion of annual premium and if somebody is paying it through their credit cards or debit cards then insurance company receives it in one go the full amount so the person is secured when hospitalization happens then they are not going to deduct the premium amount as such they will only reimburse you or maybe if it's a cashless then you you will be covered entirely okay correct but right 
and uh, but with credit card payments or debit card payments or for that matter any monthly payments sometimes what happens is could be a network glitch or maybe some a new regulation comes in and maybe any issue with banking uh, operations then somebody might forget to make payments or if auto debit is there and that doesn't happen and we don't realize it there could be chances that we get notification that your payment hasn't been done and we miss that notification then what, what happens and uh, for example if we forgot to make the payment and then hospitalization happens then what so here is a classic example abrajita we keep saying this uh, with time uh, people also, so uh, when we think think about ailments diseases we always feel it will happen to somebody next door it will not happen to me but uh, insure that's why you buy insurances right you buy insurances to protect yourself uh, and your family so when we look at this situation um, how will it work okay say example uh, i converted uh, i made the insurance pay, uh, uh, payment uh, as monthly okay i chose it at mo- as monthly at that point of time i am connecting my debit card credit card or a bank account to that uh, mo- premium payment mode now mm-hmm. what happens is uh, suppose i change my job or maybe i change my city uh, for whatever reasons and i change my, then i start getting money or salary or my uh, fees into a different bank account and i completely forget about you know that my insurances are linked to this account so in that case if the emi is bounced okay where you have considered monthly payment through the insurance company or the aggregator in that right. situation uh, say there is a grace period for sure there's a 15 day grace period uh, in these hmm. policies but in that grace period uh, if you are not able to make a payment your policy will lapse and you are cl- you are not covered for it okay uh, aprajita the most uh, scary this part i will tell you uh, uh, somebody bought a policy the emi bounced we followed up with uh, them to pay the uh, pay it within the grace period he didn't pay okay, okay? one day after the grace period got over he met with an accident and that costed him some 6 lakhs piece can you imagine one grace day gone i mean 15 mm-hmm. days of grace period gone you have a gap of one day and then you meet with an accident imagine the kind of trauma that person would have had because of accident number one and because now he has to bear this expense by himself it is yeah. such a scary situation and people don't realize you know uh, okay i like that alpha of 5000 rupees i mean i was actually laughing okay when this client told us you know i said why would you you know I just want to understand you know uh, the why? human behavior why that 5000 monthly you want to convert it the whole reason mm-hmm. he told me i am very comfortable doing it monthly because it's an alpha that comes to my mind and it is okay i said what is alpha in insurance what alpha what alpha does it... <laughs> i'm not able to understand that what is it this alpha alpha is in saving money maybe paying it for 3 years exactly that is where you get the alpha <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh, imagine when we are talking about um, i said alpha you look at uh, stocks and you look at their alpha or say mutual funds but not look at insurance product when you want to talk about your and your family security so he earns monthly 3 lakhs a uh, post tax in his account and he wants to do a emi wow. of 5000 rupees can you believe this and um, and this generation has to change this mindset we cannot live on emis we are trying to copy the west which will eventually increase our debt uh, as a country and it is reducing our savings uh, as a percentage and as an economy and we ha- as we as advisors take this you know in on our heads that okay we have to make sure that you know this does not happen to the next generation very very integral so coming back to our discussion on uh, you know why the what what are the repercussions if i do this so number one the claims will not be paid number two there could be a situation that uh, suppose the policy is lapsed and you catch up on an ailment okay uh, so something like autoimmune some organ failures or you know some mm-hmm. things which are you know insurance companies does not want you to be uh, their customer so in those situations mm-hmm. you are not a good customer for the insurance company and even if you willing to pay mm-hmm. they will not give you a cover so very very important that uh, when you are hale and hearty as the day you buy insurance and not consider it into you know uh, increasing the cover later or you know converting into emis no not a great idea yeah and uh... 
uh, I just uh, recall an incident. So somebody told me that the guy, the person, he was paying premium for his parents, senior citizens' parents, and monthly option. So I understand that yes, senior citizens' policies are really expensive. So taking monthly route is fine. But what happened that uh, Reserve Bank, Reserve Bank of India changed some rules related to card payments and. auto debit did not happen in his case and he noticed it after 25 days that the uh, premium hadn't been paid and later on when he approached the company then company told him that your policy has lapsed and it's and it was a senior citizen policy and it's really difficult for them oh, to what? get a new policy plus he lost all uh, waiting uh, charges all. yeah exactly so those continuity benefits the person lost just explain about this point that when policy lapses then what all you lose so uh, prajita i will tell you my own case okay uh, when i was very young i uh, that point of time i had a policy which traditionally was bought my father and i used to renew it uh, without considering the uh, increase sum insured or something at one point of time i increased the sum insured where the agent himself came and told me why do you need to increase the cover so much i said no i want to buy it today okay and imagine i increased it to a certain level and i got up an ailment where i am not eligible for getting a, in, a more insurance enhancement okay now when this situation happened uh, so i mean i keep telling you know ke okay, uh, the day you feel it's waste of money uh, that's the day you go and buy insurance because uh, when you need it insurance companies will not give you the coverage and when you co- come and talk about um, senior citizen plans okay it is expensive uh, expensive is very subjective aprajita because if you are standing in an apple store sorry to take brand names but if you are buying an expensive phone uh, that point of time you don't find that phone expensive because that's your need or you know your desire to buy it so health insurance mm-hmm. expenses because we don't have a social security health ins- uh, insurance expenses have to be treated as part of your you know living it cannot be ignored because one ailment to any of the family member not having enough insurance might take away your life savings okay very true but uh, but we also need to understand that yes insurance premiums are expensive and we need that affordability factor so what would you re- recommend uh, if if we are telling people that don't go for monthly option then what else can they do so that when annual premium payment day comes then they have money they, they should make provisions beforehand and what should those provisions be yeah excellent question aprajita i would i mean love i love this question because uh, there are two perspective to it okay suppose uh, we are in the last quarter of the year people will receive their bonuses and appraisals right with that bonus gift yourself or your family that health insurance okay so you have already bought it and paid for it that money is available okay now in the next year when the premium will be due you still need that money right so what you should do is suppose you bought the policy in february say uh, say premium for between you spouse child and dependent parents premium comes to say 50 60000 rupees you start an sip into a liquid fund okay Uh, say five thousand or six thousand rupees as a comfort number. Whatever is your number that you can do it. Keep mm-hmm. doing. So if you can't do liquid fund SIP, start a recurring deposit (RD). That is what we call, right? Start a monthly investment for paying premiums. So what will mm-hmm. happen next year when it is due for renewal? You will not get that pinch of getting it, feeling it expensive, or mm-hmm. uh, feeling that unaffordability that I can't afford this. There's so much of money I is going towards insurance. right so that's an excellent way that we tell clients do this and believe me aprajita the and this habit the moment we start with this habit uh, for us it's been a recall from clients saying okay i think i'm doing liquid also so let's start investing also i am serious about retirement planning also so the hmm. savings habit which you will build up according to if you've not been investing at all then it's another step towards you know financial wellness so it's an awesome way that you will not feel the pinch and also get the coverage and the coverage will stay intact and the continuity benefits will remain correct so choose sip over emi <laughs> so that is absolutely bang on yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> all right thank you so much nisha for joining us today you have shared really interesting points about it and we need to highlight that monthly premium payment option is very risky and we have also absolutely. discussed provisions to make way for it to make it affordable for you 
so yeah really thankful to you for joining us today here my pleasure aprajita thank you so much feel free to ask your queries on this topic i am available on x my x handle apri underscore sharma you can find me on linkedin as well with my full name which is aprajita sharma for more such podcast keep visiting stsmartcast.com bye bye to stay updated on this podcast follow us at hd smartcast on all the major social media platforms to listen to more such podcasts log on to www.hdsmartcast.com sometimes it takes a different approach to help you unlock your true potential with capella university's game changing flex path learning format you gain relevant skills you can apply to your career right away Earn your degree from an accredited university and be confident in the quality of your education. Imagine your future differently at capella.edu. Capella University is accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. Learn more at capella.edu/accreditation.